Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. My name is Will, with us as always is Mr. Nine. Yo. Today we have with us Mr. Dougie Vini from Good Game Bro. So, Dougie, thanks for joining us. Yeah. And of course with us as always is Mr. Gage. Hi. Okay, <laughs> so, so let's get into some news. Um, today, of course, we're going to be talking about our regular news segments, um, Good Game Bro as well. And then we'll get into some uh, some Borderlands tease, uh, Ooh, do, do Borderlands. Do things like that. So we'll talk Borderlands about that. stuff. Um, so, first things first, uh, we talked about this on our Checkpoint podcast, but we want to do it here on today's show as well. Um, you know, we want to recognize Mr. Iwata son. Uh, our deepest condolences to his family, to Nintendo. I think I, I've sent you tweets. Um, I know you guys get overwhelmed, you know, about uh, with all the responses. I think the funeral was just uh, recently, wasn't it? Yeah. Last week, yeah. yeah. Uh, a couple days ago. Like 4,000 people showed up. This yeah. Thing. It's a, it's, yeah. It's an insane amount of people were like, well, no, a lot of people. So, so we're, we're all huge Nintendo fans. It's great to see so many other people, like the guys from Sony, the guys from Microsoft, showing all their support as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a huge loss for the gaming industry. So, uh, like I said, our deepest regards there. Um, let's stick with Nintendo. Okay. Nintendo. Like Nintendo. Yeah. We started off we're with Nintendo, Nintendo like the like, last five shows to start off with Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> You kind of oh well that's right that's right. <laughs> so Nintendo is talking about getting into smartphones. Yeah, they've well, been talking about that for a while. I mean, they've already announced that they're going to release games for smartphones. Finally. At least seven, I think, in 2016. Yeah, I mean, so. get with the program, Nintendo. Now, is this this isn't a Nintendo smartphone, right? No, this is no. games on smartphones. This phones. is games for smartphones. Okay, but the interesting thing so would they be. Have a handheld unit, yeah. But would you, like, the say Nintendo did make a smartphone. I'd buy it. Would you buy it? I'd buy it. Yeah? Because it's got to be better than the Engage. <laughs> you said in the bar high there. Yeah, yeah. yeah real high. <laughs> that bar is real Here, Here's high. the Engage. Here's dirt. You're Engage looking up at dirt. I don't know. I mean, obviously, they have a handheld markets, clearly. Sure. With the 3DS. I mean, a yep. huge success story there. The original game. I mean, they got a whole line of handheld stuff. I mean, I don't know. Do they, is it going to cut into that market? Well, so you own a 3DS. If you could flip open your 3DS and hold it up to your face as a phone, <laughs> would you? Or if the back was you a phone, would you do it? Phones? Yeah, like tape my, the iPhone to the back of the 3DS, would you do that? I wouldn't. You would not? My thing, I like my phone just for <laughs> what it is. You know, I like to keep it like, I don't even play a whole lot of games on my phone. I play some. I I play games on my phone. Fallout Shelter. I play, I play a couple. Fallout Shelter. Fallout yes. Shelter. So, so games like I that. I get it. Yeah. On Android, that'd be nice. But I'm not gonna go a Mario game on, on my smart. I'd probably rather have the the 3DS. I mean, mm. maybe. It's what if your Nintendo smartphone came with the plug-in that had buttons like a uh, Nintendo like a controller? Like a controller or yeah. something. Mario on your smartphone would be cool. Like, I'd be okay with that. Like, I'm not a huge Nintendo fan. But you give me Mario on a smartphone, I'm down with that. Sure. Oh, yeah. Does it but have to be just a platformer, though, for you to get interested in it? Like, would you be Give me to Mario an Kart. Okay. Mario Kart on my smartphone, and I can play you online? Or, sure. like, over this connection? Yeah, yeah, I'm down with that. Okay. I wouldn't buy a phone specifically for that, but if they put the games out, I'd be okay I with it. I feel like that's going to take away from the 3DS. Maybe well, I mean, if it's a good phone, yeah. I'd buy it. I, mean, I, I, wouldn't buy, phone. I wouldn't buy the phone for one reason. Nintendo has no idea what they're doing with their online community anyway. Mm. I feel like my, on, my plan would have and to be really good to get the yeah, internet For the record, we're speculating here. There's, sure, yeah, there's no, not there's not there's no Nintendo or. smartphone, but if there was, <laughs> I'm not buying it. <laughs> okay. Now that we've got that cleared up. <laughs> Integrate it with iTunes and we'll talk. All right, I mean, then Nintendo also, uh, you know, they have the Mario Maker coming out. Yep, September Super 14th. Mario Maker. Super Mario Maker. You got to remember, they changed the name at the last minute. Rebranded yeah. it. Nintendo World Champion. Now, Dougie, you're not a Nintendo fan, but you got to admit, this game looks pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of cool. It's like, if you're cool. a, a hardcore, like, old-school Mario person, like, I can see where it, it's cool, but, like... Try to get someone to convert over because of that game. I don't really see it. I think they're paying homage to all of the people that were trying to hack Nintendo games. Oh, the home anyway. stuff. Yeah. 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 I think it's a gift to everybody who's been playing Mario for 30 years. Like it's, here, yeah, make I, your own. I don't think it's really to convert people. It's like a thank I think you. it's just like yeah, a fan service kind of game where hey, you guys love Mario so much, make your own. Yeah. Mario do whatever you want. Games, here's you know, here's so our assets. Do. And I mean, the stuff they showed off at the World Championships was nuts. Yeah, it was yeah. really cool. So yeah. it's definitely got potential. It was really cool. It was, it was really cool. Being there was a little different. Yeah. So, so the, I've been vocal the about game that. itself, though, I mean, I think, I think a lot of people, it, it's, you know, it would be a good introduction to game development as well. 
if you're applying for a job for a game developer, hey, we want to see what you can do. Hey, this is what I've done. Here's a, here's Mario Maker. I mean, I did this myself, right? Sure. Kind of, I don't think it's going to be a big maybe. game where people, Nintendo's like, oh, these YouTubers, look at them making awesome levels. Let's, maybe you know, like let's level hire design. Yeah. If it's like a level design position, then yeah. I mean, that, I Something can see like that. that. Could be. But maybe not. It's yeah. exactly like super developer. You know? yeah, yeah. Super developer. Yeah. Is that is that the new position you're making there, game? Oh yeah, Kryptonite's the weakness there. So. Yeah. <laughs> What are we talking about? <laughs> he always Super has to bash on Superman somehow. <laughs> All right, uh, so so you know Mario Maker looks very very cool. Cannot wait for that game to come out. Um, Two months. What about Mario Kart Maker though? Yes. So, I would, yeah, I, I mean Mario Kart Maker. You'd be all over that? I would be all over it. Mario Kart is one of those games that like it's rage inducing, where you can just play it for fun, but if you play with other people, you are screaming. It becomes a war. Yeah, it's you lose awesome. friends over that. Yeah, game. exactly. So Mario Kart Maker. I'd be all over that. I might buy a Nintendo system, which I haven't done in since the 64. Yeah. Actually, well, I bought the Wii for my mom, so I take that back. But I might <laughs> buy. I might buy for that one. That but cool. you could design a course um, to your to your knees and like you know try to trip up your friends or whatever. Sure. It is, you know something like that. making a course seat. and putting it in front of your friends like you know, oh, four and four man. kind of thing. Just let yeah. them go. Like just watch, just like an evil genius kind of thing. Like yeah. Take like <laughs> there's no walls on that road. Oh yeah. And there you go. That that'd be awesome. Yeah. You, you can make you know tournaments out of it. Like you know these are elite courses. Like if you make one mistake you're gonna lose you know you can make it so difficult you can do all kinds of stuff with it sure and of course do they let you do all the if they let you do the graphics <laughs> things where you can play different graphics well, well, for each royalties one. for this idea better i mean any other games uh, a, a lot of the or? internet <laughs> has been saying like they should make a zelda maker for like the old nes super nintendo zeldas hmm. like, maybe you know, but, you know. I, I can hmm. see potential but i don't see it really yeah like a dungeon crawler kind of thing yeah, yeah. maker on dungeon people are doing that in the little big planet anyway yeah so yeah. I mean, they've remade just about every major RPG in a Little Big Planet. So, but again, yeah. so, so, they, got so buy a Little Big Planet. <laughs> if you want a remake of a game, just buy a Little Big Planet. Right. I just want new IPs from Nintendo. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's it's. Yeah, we talked about that before. Yeah. It was awesome. All right, so uh, we're gonna be talking about Good Game Bro with Mr. Dougie Vini right after this. Hey everybody, welcome back. We just got done talking about Nintendo, and once again, our condolences to Nintendo for Mr. Iwata. And uh, uh, let's move on. So let's talk about Good Game Bro. We're here with myself, Will. We got Nine, we got Gage, Hi. and Dougie from Good Game Bro. <laughs> Dougie, for those people out there who don't know, yeah, tell the world what is Good Game Bro. So it's a uh Right now it's a YouTube channel, it originally started as a website that is for sports, video games, and shooters. Uh, I just love those. I did a previous site that was kind of a bigger scope at one point, and then I just love sports and shooters, so I started it there. I give people tips and tricks, um, kind of funny career series that kind of take a player from point A to point B of their career, try to walk through the Hall of Fame. Is that a big thing? Yeah, I mean, for some reason, yeah, I didn't really think it was initially, <laughs> but uh, I mean, I love playing career series, and so I have one now that it gets a couple thousand views per video, and that's been really successful and helped launch my, my channel. Nice, nice. So so you said you focus on sports games and shooters. What are some of the shooters that, that you do as well? Right now, uh, it's been a little bit of destiny, but it's been kind of like eh, a little few and far between because there isn't a lot of content coming out right now for Destiny. Yeah. We're kind of waiting for the Taken King, which your shirt obviously shows. <laughs> um, and you know, I did Battlefield Hardline for a while, and that was pretty cool, but I'm really hoping for like, you know, this fall when we see games like Battlefront, we can do Call of Duty dropping, yeah. there's like a lot more actually coming out, and that's when I think we're gonna see a ton so what when when you put out those videos and you cover those shooters, what what games are getting the biggest responses right now? Uh, I mean, right now, shooter wise, like Battlefield, but Hardline kind of teetered off. Yeah, the it player was, base. It was, Battlefield. It was awesome there. for like two months, and then everyone's like. Yeah, kind of done with this. <laughs> the player base drop, and that's what sucked because I had a lot of fun. Like, yeah, no, I would it was blow a up really fun and uh, battle. Like crazy, game. and yeah, it's just the player base has dropped, which has kind of really hurt it. But um, sports games have been pretty popular still. Like, everybody's gearing up for obviously Madden, and you've got NHL and FIFA dropping later, so there's a lot of hype for those. Yeah, you know, and FIFA, we gave uh, best sports game of E3. That looks oh, absolutely looks awesome. amazing. Yeah. Phenomenal. I'm really, I'm probably like top five worst players of all time at FIFA. Okay. Um, I still play it, but I'm, I'm really bad at it. Top five worst player. Yeah. Yeah. It's a all thing. Right. It's a thing. <laughs> I get in that top five. I, okay. can, I, I was going to say, I could knock you off the top five list real quick. We'll right? have a battle. Man, we're going to have a terrible game of FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> New Let's Play series. Worst FIFA game ever. I'm going to live stream it. Man, there was no goal and you still missed. I don't know how it's, what's going yeah. on. It's bad. So, so, so. 
sports games in general. I mean, I know you do a lot of like MLB. I know it's yep. another game that you play a lot of. What what type of video do you, I mean? Do you, you take the players themselves and like show people how to take like you said from point A to point B? So talk a little bit about that. Yeah. So one of the most popular ones right now is uh, MLB 15 The Show. I have a player called Kendall King. Uh, he's a shortstop for the Houston Astros. I got his rookie card. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's worth some money now. Uh, but basically, what I do is I walk them through kind of. You start in Double A. You work your way all the way up to the professionals. Uh, so he's a member of the Houston Astros now. And throughout this year, I try and give people tips and tricks. So it's just. I'm kind of commentating his journey, his ups and downs, but throughout it I might say like, you know, how to get your player to be a 99 overall, how to hit more home runs, and there's like little tips throughout the video and people are leaving me comments nonstop about like, I'm striking out every time, how can I fix that? Well, like number one, stop swinging and everything, but yeah. I try and give them more advice to, to be a better player. So it's cool because people get to watch a career, but they also get tips to be better at that game if they're interested right. in it. Very I would cool. watch those videos because I suck at sports games. <laughs> <laughs> so once again, my name is Will. This is Nine. Yep. Dougie and Gage. We're talking about good game, you bro. You're a surprise game. Uh, I'm always surprised. <laughs> it is me. Every still week. Here? Still here? Still here somehow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So 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 taking pl players from point A to point B. So are you think people are watching your videos in order to get that like for? Um, just advice or I think sometimes I think sometimes people just watch as they hear my voice and they're just like why does your voice sound like that and they troll me uh, <laughs> but I think a lot it's a few different reasons I think people want kind of tips people want something to do I mean a lot of times when I'm at home and I'm working on editing videos or I'm doing things for my real job uh, I'll watch someone else's video that has a similar series or nice, whatever nice and it's real just, job plug there yeah yeah <laughs> but struggle. I try and like I try and watch something that's just kind of you know, give me feedback about the game I'm playing or maybe they, they're doing something really cool that I'm not doing like there are YouTubers like uh, QJB uh, who has probably some of my favorite content for NCAA Football 14 he's trying to kind of revive that and I hope they port that to Xbox One as part of backwards compatibility please Microsoft um, but <laughs> they're in a huge lawsuit right now I don't yeah. know <laughs> well the thing is they're still selling it digitally right so as long as they're still selling it that way then they can most bring likely it as say yes. backwards compatibility. I mean EA is a big proprietor for yeah. backwards compatibility right now so yeah. we'll see so, so in sports games in general, you mentioned some of the games coming out. Madden, of course, FIFA, you got WWE, um, yeah. a, a lot of these cool games. What, what, what are you seeing that some of the newer features in some of these games that, that would be a good thing for your site? So, in other words, like you got Twitch, a lot of people are streaming. Yep. You got the, the ability to create your own characters, play out through the whole seasons, this kind of thing. What are some of the newer features in some of the upcoming sports games that you really like? Uh, right now, if I had to pick like one sports game for this year, I'm sorry Madden, I'm sorry FIFA, but NBA 2K16 looks phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, not only do you have Spike Lee that's actually directing it, oh, wow. which is blows my mind. Like he got games on my favorite movies for sports, <laughs> and for having Spike Lee actually behind on that is incredible to me. Uh, they're having you can actually relocate your teams in my league, which is kind of like your franchise mode. Right. So the Supersonics, yeah. if you want the Supersonics back in Seattle, you can bring them back. Nice. There's a lot of like connectivity where modes are coming more online with Park. They have a phenomenal career series. So. Things like that where there's not just one thing but multiple things that I could create a series out of, I'm just huge for at this point. Yeah. And you got you got a lot of followers and, and people are looking to see what you're gonna be putting up. What's one of the biggest shooters that you're looking forward to this year? Or next year. Don't say what I think you're gonna say. I'm not gonna say Call of Duty. I feel like no, that's what you're thinking. No, that's not what I was gonna think. What are you thinking I'm gonna say? No, so oh thank God! I mean, Battlefront. I've played is, both games, both great. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Battlefront is cool. I'm not like the biggest Star Wars person. I've never seen an entire Star Wars movie from start to finish. I'm sorry. Then don't you need me. to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Weird, because we had a trivia I'm, contest coming up next. <laughs> I mean, I won't be in there. Right. Um, I don't want to be that guy, but Call of Duty Black Ops Three looks just really cool and really twitchy to me. So. I'm kind of leaning I I towards that play. at this point. Like yeah, sure. But Destiny, The Taken King, that's probably my solid. top thing. It does yeah. look really it's good. It's solid. I played it. It's so uh, smooth. Rift, way too much fun. Yeah. yeah. And, and I got to say, Gage and I did get a chance with Call of Duty, and we got to an, a great interview uh, with him as well. Some of the things and steps that they're taking, I feel like they are moving Call of Duty to the next level, which is good because yeah. I think they got the, be, the you know, yeah. you don't want to be too stale or anything. All right, when we get back, we'll be talking about some Borderlands and some other teasers right after this. <gasps> Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. We just got done talking about Good Game Bro with Dougie. Dougie, again, thank you for joining us. My name is Will. This is Nine. Yep. Got Gage. Uh, let's talk about Borderlands. Uh, Borderlands. It was teased. So yeah. Randy Pitchford, uh, during a Gearbox conference call, I believe, or a meeting, uh, came out and talked about how they're working 
on new Borderlands. Borderlands is continuing. Yes. They don't know in what capacity. So they don't know if it's Borderlands 3. They don't know if it's Borderlands 4, since there's been three Borderlands games. They don't know if they're doing some kind of other story arc with that. I they're not sure what they're doing. They're going to come up with some made up word again, like the pre sequel. Is pre sequel made up? <laughs> the pre sequel is a made up word. So okay. I think they'll title it as in something ridiculous. Would you rather see an offshoot kind of different thing or a well, traditional I mean, kind of Borderlands game? Got Borderlands in the title, I'll play it. Th that's what I'm saying. They put because a lot I love of Borderlands. you know fans. I mean, the Handsome Collection or whatever else. Mm -hmm. They put out all this extra, so they they're staying on and they're trying to stay in people's minds. I think. Yeah. But a brand new game built specifically for next gen consoles whew, that could be big. That's a lot of guns, man. I'm not sold yeah. on Randy Pitchford. Yeah. I don't. A lot of people are giving him a lot of crap lately, too. Yeah. I'm not saying he's Peter Molyneux. Like, he's not to that level. Right. But he's no, very, nobody can get to that he's, level. No one's on that level. No one's on that, <laughs> level. on that level. I'm still waiting for Fez 2. I'm still waiting. <laughs> like, HD All right, so what, what's your issue with Randy? I think Randy Pitchford has, like, really cool ideas, but he suffers from the same issue that Peter Molyneux does, where he kind of over-promises over or right. kind of says these things that right. don't always deliver. Like, Borderlands 1, I love that game. I played awesome. it all the time. Right. Borderlands 2, I still had a lot of fun with. I didn't play the pre-sequel, whatever the new one is, or the, the Handsome Jack collection. Yeah. Like, I didn't really touch any of that, and I didn't really feel a need to, and I think that's what Borderlands has lost that, like, need but to play. But you can't play. blame pre-sequel on Randy Pitchford and Gearbox, because it was no, outsourced. No, I'm not. And that's why, like, I didn't play it, so I'm like, I didn't want to... It was yeah. solid, but it yeah. wasn't... Borderlands 1 and 2 like quality. Listen, well, so we want to blame outsourced companies. We we have a long list to get to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So do we want to see <laughs> what, do we want to see the next Borderlands game? So, I mean, Borderlands has always been a, a series to always introduce new characters each time and you never play the same people, but the story's or the different. Same kind of classes for that. Right. Part. And then but like they, they cross over a little bit, but do you want to see something like somewhere else? I was like, going to say like what do you do next? To your point, I mean, they'd have to create something that's big enough to want people to go get this thing. They don't want to fall in that that same category. What about Border Worlds? There was a trademark for that yeah. like 3 3 4, four years, years ago. ago. Yeah. Really? Um I think an online only like MMO style Borderlands game. Border Worlds. That would be yeah, interesting. Would be awesome. Like I would Destiny play that. type. Like change the if, it's not, if, it's, if it's not like Destiny, I would play. <laughs> I'd be all over that. Create your own that custom point. class, custom character design, all that fun stuff, sure. and then just leave the guns like the way they are, because their yeah. gun formula is it's awesome. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. One of the best gun formulas ever made. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah. okay. Um, so moving on. Uh, new Duke Nuke Nukem. <laughs> New Duke Nukem enters production. Uh, no. What do you think about this? No. You don't, no love for Duke? Not after Gearbox screwed up the well, forever. Again, Randy Pitchford came out and said, we didn't buy Duke Nukem just to send him off with Duke Nukem forever. Yeah, like, we're I mean, starting a new yeah, Duke Nukem game. He deserves game. a... He, de he, 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 he does he not deserves. deserve it. Yes, he does. No, I don't think he, he deserves it at all. I care I don't more think about Nintendo than I care about Duke Nukem. <laughs> Look at that. This, this Ringing endorsement. This is 50 man. Boom. I want the camera to jump back and forth this week. <laughs> Which, Dougie's interest is zero. Uh, maybe no, it's, it's less than zero, zero because there. apparently... Duke Nukem is not as inferior or not as important as Nintendo to him. Hey, look, so, I mean, put him on a he bar deserve, graph. He deserves yeah. an amazing. If you put him in an amazing game, with put any character story, in an amazing no, game. It's an amazing game, though. That doesn't make any sense to me. Part of the problem with Duke Nukem was is Duke Nukem was in the shadow of Bulletstorm. Bulletstorm was you a think lot so? of fun. I really enjoyed Bulletstorm because it was that Duke Nukem style. The mechanics style, were really cool. The yeah. character, the language, the violence, the whole nine yards. And then Duke Nukem kind of like wandered in after 15 years of being in development and was like, hey, I'm here and I'm still stupid. And It was still in the same like era where yeah, I don't think it really it didn't, it didn't jump evolve. Forward, it didn't translate. It stayed well, I did in that Duke 90s Duke Nukem form. forever fall on its face. I because it stayed in the 90s. <laughs> it should have been brought. Why? Well, our show's not long enough. Well, <laughs> it was horrible. Like, the the mechanics, the everything textures. The, the first five minutes of the game's bad. Oh, Change everything. The RC car level, like, I just. I'm the DLC on. was crap. Oh. Dude, I Duke, gotta, we love you. We hope you get a You game. love, you I love, love everything Duke. except for Duke Nukem Forever. I agree with that. All right. All right. Sure. Have it. Yeah. <laughs> Shenmue 3. Kickstarter ends, and it's it's done. It's got it's well $6.3 million. Yes, that well tripled funded. the gold they're looking for. That is insane. Right. I think Still. I care more about Duke Nukem than I care about that game. <laughs> Dougie, we gave you a chance to read the board before we came on today. Did you want to sit in on the third section I think, or not? I think, so, I think the idea of the Kickstarter was really cool. I just thought it was really weird that it happened at the press conference. Why? And it was kind of I like, thought that was genius. It, was, it gave me the impression that Sony was taking a it's cut weird. of that. It gave me the impression that like Sony was Sony was like, all right, we'll Which produce they, the money no, for it. They're not going to have them on a stage without them getting their, their Sony's not taking any money. Weird. 
they I'm donated saying, money. They were just getting mm-hmm. to me like the interest level. Like, they were saying like, are people really caring about this game? Of course they are. But so, I've never played them, so. dude. I, so. Shenmue 3, I think, is a game that can be finally realized with next-gen technology. I think, and now with this kind of backing, with this kind of money, they better produce something awesome. Have well, you he seen was the looking, videos, though? He was looking for $10 Good. million to get an open-world Shenmue like game. The videos, to me, don't well, scream next-gen. They scream, like... Well, that was before he launched the... the new, they just put out a new video, though, and I saw, and it was a really weird camera angle where... I don't want to talk about the camera angle. <laughs> 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 it was really weird. Words we cannot use. <laughs> All right, uh, Fallout 4... Main voice actors recorded over 13,000 lines. Yes, lines. In two of years. That's a lot. That's a lot of time. I bet so three dogs got like a thousand of those. I think so. <laughs> He's a big character, man. That's a lot. I mean, I, dude, yeah. I, I'm excited about that. Because we'll have just, Fallout games before this have been all text based, right? There hasn't been voice. Uh, main voice character has voices been. in Fallout 3. But like your main character doesn't. The main talk. character. No, not the main though. character. Yeah. Right. No, this these is the, the first main game characters. when the main character talks. Yeah. And these are just main character lines? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's incredible. Right. Yeah. and like when, when it was first shown off, people were worried like, well, if the main character is talking now, and that's you're just going to give you less dialogue choices. It doesn't sound like that's the problem at all. Not right. at all. And you can walk away. So yeah, we, yeah. We, <laughs> which is we, just awesome. We Goodbye. did a Fallout Four game of the show at this year's E3. Do you think we made the right choice? Yes, I care a lot about that game. Oh, he agreed. <laughs> that game's gonna be awesome. <laughs> all right, listen, guys, uh, we're gonna wrap this up. Um, again, you can check us out on YouTube.com/psvgtv. You can check us out on Facebook.com, uh, Facebook.com slash Press Start VG, Twitch.tv slash Press underscore Start underscore TV. And, of course, check out Dougie on GoodGameBro.com. Dougie, thank you so much again for joining yeah, us. Really, you. really appreciate it. Thank you. That's all the time we have for you today. Until next time, see ya. Peace. Love you.